God is not giving it to you. But because God is not giving it to you, because you take for granted everything that he gives you anyway, what happens is we start desiring things that God usually don't give us. We start treasuring them. And we forget that this will not make us happy. These things are just temporary toys for us. Something that just kind of makes, just brings some excitement to my life for a temporary short period of time. That these things are really not going to be that helpful or beneficial for me. We need to realize that the greatest treasure we have is God. Now, as we close today, I want to read another verse in Matthew. This time, 621, chapter 6, verse 20, it says this, For where your heart, well, where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. So the real question is, what is the true treasure of your heart? What does your heart treasure? What's in there? In the deep place of your heart that you hold precious. When you realize the truth that God's love and grace, when you know that you should love him, not only to return God's love, but because you know that relationship God is the only way to be truly happy and fulfilled. Can you, like Jesus tells us today, sell all that you have, spend all of your effort, spend all of your time, all of your energy, all of your heart to have this hidden treasure of the kingdom of God, kingdom of heaven. This is the vow. This is the commitment that we've been talking about for the last month. This man sold everything he had because he found the true joy of life. He found treasure. That is what we must do. When we realize how big of a treasure Jesus Christ, God is, we make that commitment. We are devoted, dedicated to selling everything in our life, everything that else that is great in our life, priorities in our life, and trading them in for Jesus Christ. We must treasure Jesus Christ. You know, when I got married, I took a vow to love my wife until the day I die. Brother Jung did the same thing. Brother Daniel Cho did the same thing. We made that commitment. Did I love her? Of course I did. Did I treasure her? Of course. But as I spent more and more time with her, loving her, she became more and more of a treasure. Do you understand? At the beginning, I only treasured her maybe this much because this is all I knew of her. But as time passed, as I got to know more and more and more, the amount that I treasure, the amount she's important in my life, the amount that I cannot live without her increases exponentially. Same with God. You may start your relationship with God only based on your knowledge. You don't have much experience. Maybe you don't treasure him that much right now, but you know you should. There's a knowledge that you want to be committed to Jesus Christ and God to all of your life. Because that's the true way to be happy. You know that. You might not treasure God that much, but you take a vow and then you start. And as you spend more time with him in your QT, in your prayer, in your life, in your walk, how you live, how you breathe, every situation that you face, 
you bring God into the relationship and you live your life through God, with God, I'll guarantee you, as you build your relationship with him, the, the amount that you treasure him will grow more and more and more. You will really treasure God. He will become for you the treasure of joy. Amen. As you, so as you take this commitment and fellowship with God through continual quiet time, through prayer in your life, you will be filled more and more with God's joy. The more you know, the more you'll love, and the more you'll treasure. You know, in treasuring God, you might have to give up some of the temporary treasures of this world. Things that your friends treasure, things that are important for your friends, But what you're going to experience is when you give up this small, temporary, worldly pleasures of the world, you're going to be experiencing surpassing joy and worth in God. And so more and more you experience, more and more you're going to be happy, fulfilled. More you're going to treasure God because you know he could give you surpassing joy and worth. The more you experience God and experience the, the joy of treasuring God, the more you will be happy and fulfilled, obeying him and following him. We all know that things are just things, right? Whether it be your cell phone, your computer, your Xbox, your PlayStation, your toys, whatever it is, things are just things. And nothing is more precious, more valuable than your parents and God. I want to challenge you as we end 2020. 2021, don't take them for granted. Don't take your parents for granted. Don't take God for granted. Don't be ungrateful. Remind yourself. That they are the treasure of your life. Not only do they provide everything you need, but they love you. And for you to be happy is to treasure them in your heart. Because they will become for you the treasures of joy. I pray that all of you will live every day, 2021, reminding yourself that God is the greatest treasure that you can ever desire and that your parents are God's greatest present for you on this earth. The more you realize, the more you remind, more you treasure, more you will be fulfilled. Not only with God, but with his joy and peace. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, you are the great, great joy, Lord. You are the treasure. We want to discover this treasure, Lord. I pray that all of our youth will be on this quest in the year of 2021 to discover the treasure of joy in you. Help us, Lord to treasure you. Help all of our kids to treasure their parents because they are the greatest present that you have given to our kids, Lord. I pray that as we think about you, as we think about our parents, as we treasure them in our heart, that it will bring to our life, to our conscience, to our heart, true treasure of joy, Lord, that will be fulfilled and happy. I pray that all of us, Lord, will discover this treasure right now 
and furthermore, as we experience you more and more and more in the year 2021 and beyond. We thank you for your love. Now I pray that you would keep all of us safe and healthy, that you provide everything we need, that you fill us with your blessings every single day. We pray all these things in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Okay, now I have a couple of announcements. Uh, yesterday we had our winter conference. Thank you for all that joined. We had a great time. Uh, this coming, oh, today, there is a Christmas uh, celebration at 2 o'clock. Uh, they need to bring, they need to have what? Smorgs? Okay, so before 2 o'clock, if you haven't, send an image. Please check your email because the email was sent by, I think, Shiu, right? So you need to have, send an image of something that kind of describes you. Please refer to, to, and have some snacks so we could all enjoy snacks together. Next Saturday, we're going to be having our uh, youth hangout at 5 o'clock. We're going to celebrate... Uh, Rebecca's birthday and uh, Chiu's birthday on that uh, on that day also, and also starting the 9th, January 9th for about three to four weeks, we're going to be having a seminar on Christian dating. Now, it's a requirement that you need to get your parents' approval. If you are kind of shy about talking to your parents about it, well, we need to fix that because. Christian relationship is something that shouldn't be, that you should be shameful about. It should be something beautiful. Okay? So you talk to your parents, have them send me an email and saying, you know, I want my so-and-so to participate so we could do the Christian dating seminar together. Okay? Now let's break into our, our small groups. And I want to say happy 2020 finishing 2020 and reminding all of you to join the new year's eve uh service i think english service is at 10 o'clock and korean is 11 15 okay all right let's go into our small group